Well, we just made it home. Made it back safe and sound. So we got back from Brian and Roxanne's. Foxy Fishes, Pepin Creek, wonderful host. We had a wonderful time. And we got some wonderful fish and plants. Yeah. yeah. So now we're back home and everything is settled in. With everything unpacked. It's time to put the fishies into their uh, temporary home. I mean, this is their forever home, but um, this tank. Temporary. Yeah, this tank's temporary for now. But anyways, it is very well established. The only other fish we have in there is a freshwater flounder. We know for a fact, because we've had them long enough, that we don't have to worry about quarantining due to the source of the fish that we have in here and the fact that our fish we know is clean. Should get along with the ones that we have. Um, not much for plants in here, but we're gonna be adding some more, so let's get to it. What do we have? This one's very special. What is that? It's a pink flamingo crypt. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Pink flamingo crypt? Yeah, they said they're pretty touchy, so. Is that gonna go in here? No, it's going in a different tank. Okay. I just didn't wanna get it all messed up. What's that? One wart. One wart. That can go in there. Mm hmm. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Some of these I don't remember. It's been a long ride home, yeah. everybody. It's like guppy grass, it looks like. Yeah, there's some guppy grass. I could be wrong. But, well, I don't know. It's more hard work. Well, this is a regular standard 10 gallon tank that we're putting these into. That's good. No, that's not cuppy grass. Yeah. Jake, come on, man. I don't know what cuppy grass is. Okay. All I know is it's beautiful. There's a snail on there. I know. There's quite a few. Now, this one's a rhizome plant. I don't remember what they said it was either, but it's very beautiful. We gotta have our snails in water, don't we? I'll put a damper right over the top. Come on, get out of there. A bunch of different stuff. She says you can either float it or pin it down with a rock and it'll root itself. The little tiny roots will root throughout the tank. Why don't you put it in there with them then? Oh, yeah. Kind of just gonna float around in there for now. Oh my gosh! I think we got a few shrimp in there. Right? There's shrimp in there. They can go in there, can't they? Yeah. All these are gonna go in there. Yeah. Well, I got a pre-filter sponge on there, so I won't soak up any shrimpies. Oh my goodness, we got shrimps from them. I don't think it was on purpose. Well. I think they were all in the plants. Well, let me turn this off. For now. Yeah, they'll be fine. So the main fish we went there for are the long fin cherry barbs. You can kind of see them in there. They're going to look better in the tank, but... Um, you want to scoop them? Yeah. Oops, I'm not filming very well. I'm always good like this when Katie's 
threw him the fish. So you don't do it this way. Truth is, Kitty does an excellent job. It's really let him out of it. Let's take what you can. I think they accidentally put more in here than what I paid for. It's all right, we were very tired in the morning. That and they're very generous people. Oh, come on. Those little buggers are harder to catch. swimming together in there. So cool. I know I got bad tank reflections in here. It's the middle of the day, got a bright window. But that's part of their top pin. They look so much better in person. Yeah. Very cool. We got to take care of some of these other plants, but and show you some more stuff. So hang on, keep watching. You're going to see some really cool stuff.